How's it going? And welcome back! Now, in the last episode, I said I had to split this into two episodes because we worked on the refueling station and it took a little longer than I expected to merge the two episodes together. So in this episode, what we're going to be looking at is how to create all these pretty engines that you see behind me. Which, of course, I'm recording this after that effect. But we're going to look at that. Plus, we have to do a few routing changes in order for the network to start up again. So, look at that creeper dance! Oh, he stopped. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is change all the routing books so that they use the destination that we've given it rather than the colours. This guy here to be instead of any blue, it's now going to have to be destination. And we're going to use a regular expression to determine if it's destined for this location. The way we do that is we're going to go question mark equals and then we're going to say anything is allowed if it ends with power. So dot meaning any character, star meaning as many times as possible, because we're using a regular expression it has to be dot star, and then we're going to go power, and it is case sensitive, so it does need to be uppercase, and it needs to match what the, the ticket says, and in this case we have everything being power, so charcoal, capital C, power, capital P, and we can go dot star again, which will mean anything at all that has power in it will end up here, whether it's coming from the power station, or it's going to the power station, or pick it. In fact, I don't think at the moment we've got anything going from the power station, so let's just go anything that ends in power. And we'll go back into here, click on that, doesn't error, cool. Uh, we'll head on to the next station. So this is the uh, Tree Farm Island. And of course, previously, our routing tables were just color any gray. In this case, we're gonna make it destination, uh, tree farm, and we'll make it star. So anything that starts with tree farm, capital T, capital F, will end up going here. Of course, we need to put that as a question mark. So that's a regular expression. And now, of course, that'll match on anything. Uh, so we'll put that back into here. And we need to do a very similar thing over here because this one is also checking for that. So we'll go into here and we are looking for, once again, instead of that color, dest, question mark equals, tree farm dot star. Done. These are really easy regular expressions. You can do some pretty complex magic with these, but we're just going to do some basics at the moment. Uh, but I'll meet you, meet you at the next one. Okay, so last but not least is the charcoal hull. And we need to go into here, change this guy here from being previously color any gray to being destination question mark tree farm. So anything that's come from the tree farm will go into here. And also anything, anything that has charcoal as the beginning of its name will also go into here. We can get rid of these of course because there are no colors in here anymore. And that should be our question mark. And now of course that should pick up on both those options. And we shouldn't really forget it. This is the entrance to the depot. So we need to make one here that goes as destination. Question mark. Any character followed by uh, as many times as possible. Depot dot star. And that way anything that's coming back this way. That requires going to the depot. will go into here. And also we can go needs refuel. Equals true. So if they need to be refueled, they can also go under here. Now, I'm not planning on having this being the only refuel station. There will be others very similar along the route, so that things don't have to come all the way back here just to get filled. We do need to set up something to automatically generate our coloured steam trains. What I was thinking to do this, and the last time I'd done this with all the credits, it was a manual join the colours together. What I'm thinking we could do is do something using a robot which has the ability to craft in it. Now, if you want to, you could do this 
using a normal robot, but I don't want to go for a wet hassle. Uh, so we'll face him. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's boot him up. And install. Because it doesn't come with an OS install. Doesn't come with an OS pre install. Reboot now. Yes. That should boot it up. Cool. So let's go into the lower and do so a few tests. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see if I can place down a train without having to have anything else to do it. So let's go place that into there. Go component. Component dot robot dot place one false two three oh yes very cool very cool very very cool okay that makes things a little easier because uh, otherwise we're gonna have to put it on a train dispenser or something but if we place it down here that will be awesome. What I think we need to do is we'll go into some code, make colors, spell with a U, and we'll set up our basic requirements, require component, uh, let's require the robot, which interesting enough is slightly different to the component robot, and we'll set this up to... I think I can only pull stuff out of a chest that's directly in front of me. So let's just test this. A chest here. Robot dot suck sides dot left. Oops. make it grab some dyes so uh, let's go white magenta we'll keep them in the color order I think I've seen this makes it easy to work with uh, light blue and yellow which are our colors from the detector over there uh, now we'll go back to our Make color script. Does it pull it in? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. I think in order to do it, we have to turn. So let's go robot dot turn left. Okay, that works. Five. Ah, oh, okay, that's cool. That's fine. We can we can work with that. So this argument here is the number to pull in. So I think what we'll do though is we're going to use the crafting table on here. So the idea is if we have an item here, we can go oh, let's get out of there. We can go give me a their white. So we can go white, white, and a locomotive. And if we go component crafting grid craft, it'll actually make and white white locomotive which is awesome that's what we want uh, so if we go into here we want to select those slots so let's go select that slot which we one two we need to be a little more picky about how we do this inventory Tory controller dot spell it correctly Inventory controller, uh, and I think it's been suck from slot, and we'll say from slot two one item, uh, and we're gonna have to turn this guy around again. So robot dot turn right. Of course, he's facing towards it at the moment, and then if we go make colors. Attempt to index a nil value. Maybe it's component dot. Oh. Uh, robot dot turn right. I think he's facing here. Yep. Yeah. 
facing back towards the track. We set up there, make colours, unsupported side. Oh, okay, I think we need to go side, stop, front. I'm pretty sure you can't do any other side, so I don't know why you have to specify that, but hey, we'll try that. Uh, we need to move back, robot, dot, turn, right. And then make colours. Cool. That's our orange. Awesome. Okay. So... Okay. Then if we go robot.select and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll select slot 10. We'll do the same thing again. Component dot inventory Inventory controller dot suck from slot sides dot front and we'll say three once again one that should give us the magenta here and then we could probably go robot dot turn left which would turn us behind I'm just gonna put we put chest there though, and we grab all our locomotives. So let's go locomotive there. Um, actually, we don't know what slots in. I wonder if we can use robot dot suck at this point. Suck one. So that takes one out. But we need to probably go robot dot select one two three four five six slot six suck an item in and then we'll turn them back around left two rights make a left or is it two, two lefts make a right meh uh, and then of course we'll go our craft. Well, let's make sure that works first. So let's go make colours. Cool. Cool. Yes! Cool. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so. That's that piece done. Let's go uh, component.crafting.craft. And then we should be able to go component.robot dot place three and then save that so if we just take all these out let's just clear my inventory a little bit Got some room to move this stuff into one two three we can exit out of here put uh, that back in there that back in there and this into there and if we go make colors Boom, boom, boom. Ha! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Uh, but I think what I need to do is I'm going to improve this a little bit and I'll be back in a moment. Put that in there. That should give us enough for that. We'll go into here. We'll go make colors. And hopefully this will work. white one. Cool. Cool. Very nice. Let's just double check these colours of course. It looks like they are all white. They are. White, white. So the next on oh no, it, that's white orange. Cool. Works. Awesome. Uh, we got left in there. One to go. Very cool. Okay, so uh, lots of changes been made. Not really. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we first we just check for how many there are in there. So we've got a counter of how many dies we're working on. Uh, you can see it goes detected no, number of dies. Uh, we check for number of engines. So we 
Um, we then do our we return back to our normal facing direction, and then we just loop. So we do exactly what we just done in the previous stuff. We just continuously loop while for the bottom number of die uh, the number of dies are in the chest, and then for the top the same amount of dies. The moment we run out of engines, which we've previously counted, it will stop. Um, but everything else is the same. Uh, we're of course using slot B and slot T here for our top and bottoms, but that's the same thing. Uh, uh, we count our, we change our number of engines there. Uh, the only thing I've added here is just to make sure that if there's still an engine in place, we won't keep placing stuff down. But otherwise, that's it. Uh, so let's give this whole thing a test. Back in a moment. Okay, here comes the new train for Charcoal Depot. It turns in there, perfect. See how it's got charcoal? So I picked up on that. So once he's collected his stuff, we will come back and see how he's going. Okay, here comes one of the Tree Farm Island trains. Should turn off. Yes, it did. Awesome. That works as well. And there you go. You can see that that guy went on his way. It turned down there because, of course, he's set to go to the depot. And this guy has stopped making any more. Just sitting there. Yeah, just sitting there waiting to craft. And that's why I put the block at the stop in there. It's just that when we have too many engines, we're not going to end up trying to add more in. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything we need to do currently in the depot area here. We've now got steam engines that have steam and charcoal. And we can already build them. And when we don't need them, we can put them away. And on top of that, we changed all the stations so that now we have a fully functioning network again. So for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment. But otherwise, have a great day. And see ya!